An inflatable pool ball. <laughs> fun. That sounds fun. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So, I have a confession to make. I have a minor, not so minor, actually, addiction to Amazon. You know what? I know that Amazon isn't the greatest company. I know I don't really like putting money into Jeff Bezos's pockets, but it's really friggin' convenient. You know, like I'm not gonna lie, you can get things on Amazon that you otherwise would have a really hard time finding in the real world. I think that this whole pandemic situation would have been quite different if it weren't for Amazon because I mean, nothing was open. So how are you supposed to get the stuff you need if not for Amazon? Sometimes I'll order something on Amazon and it comes that day, like, what? <laughs> there has to be some really upset employees working for that company to make that happen, I'm not gonna lie. So today on my channel, we are looking at some weird things that you can find on Amazon. Cause I said so, cool? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Did you know that you can buy a house a shipping container house on Amazon. I didn't. For $36,000, you can buy a house that's made out of a shipping container. It's not rated very high, I will be honest, but like, I'm looking at it and like, honestly, this looks like every typical Toronto condo. Like, this isn't much different in size from mine. There's some bunk beds in there. Like, you could put a TV, there's a kitchenette. Like, it's not too different from what I'm living in, to be honest. Fully furnished, tiny home. Includes bedroom, shower, toilet, sink, kitchenette, living area. Incredible, what a steal. The problem is like, where do you put it? <laughs> you know, one time I actually stayed in a shipping container. It was like an, it was an Airbnb. So this is like a new thing. You can stay in shipping containers. It wasn't that bad. Like it was actually kind of fun. A little narrow, but fun. You can buy 1500 live ladybugs. I'm not sure why you would, but apparently 1500 live ladybugs only cost $3. That's insane to me. You can just buy some live ladybugs. What would you use that for? It's got some really high ratings, like 6,800 people. Apparently you could use them for aphids, moth eggs, mites. They'll eat other bugs, pests. I didn't know this. I know they ate aphids, but I didn't know that they ate other pets. Uh, great for kids. <laughs> Birthday parties, school projects. Interesting. You can also buy uranium. <laughs> I mean, isn't that kind of dangerous? Isn't uranium like radioactive? That's a bit concerning. Yeah, you can like fully buy your uranium for $39.95 on Amazon. <laughs> what you might use that uranium for is another story, but I mean, no questions asked, this is Amazon. A cat butt tissue holder. So you can just pull tissues out of a cat's butt, because why not? Why wouldn't you want to pull tissues out of a cat's butt for $34.94? Because I do. I need that. I need that thing. It's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little bit. Because you pu you're pulling something that cleans out of a cat's butt, which normally is, you know, what comes out of a cat's butt is poop, which isn't clean. A bit weird. Making monogamy do some fun things. <laughs> you can buy a human finger bone. Human fingers. For $15, you can buy a human finger bone. Four and a half stars. <laughs> Skulls Unlimited International. How'd you get a hold of those finger bones? I guess it's for like teachers, but you can also get like an entire skeleton if you really want it. <laughs> That's a little scary. That's a little concerning. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. You can also buy, on Amazon, you can get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> you know, cause like, it's kind of a pain in the butt to spread peanut butter and jelly on a sandwich yourself. So you just pay someone to do it for you. It's like a subscription service. A an expensive subscription service, I might add. For 12 months and $486.96, you, uh, you get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every month. <laughs> Oh, 
Well then. A bacon scented mustache. Excellent. I love my mustaches to smell like bacon. Who doesn't? <laughs> Extra manly. <laughs> it's just right there under your nose, you know, like, why not? I'm curious to know if like it actually smells like bacon. Canadian $100 bills were supposed to smell like maple syrup and I think they only smelled like it for like a very short period of time before they stopped smelling like maple syrup. I'm really curious though. I genuinely want to know if these smell like bacon and for how long. A desktop refrigerator. Okay, that's not cool. That's just interesting. It It's a USB fridge. <gasps> So you can only fit one can in it at once. <laughs> That's so cool. If I, if I was just here filming some videos, didn't want to go all the way to the fridge over there, I could just have a desktop refrigerator with a cold one in there, ready to go. Love that for me. I actually kind of want this. Oh, currently unavailable. We don't know when or if this item will be back in stock. I was this close to buying it. I told you, I have an Amazon addiction. The ratings aren't very high, I will be honest. Like I'm looking at another one right now and like it is in stock, but the ratings are... Only two left in stock. Ratings are not very high, I'm just letting you know. But that's a really cool idea. Dill pickle lip balm, delicious. Anyone have a friend that's totally obsessed with pickles? I do, Joss Bedard. Should check out her channel, Sassy. She's obsessed with pickles. She loves pickles. She just drinks pickle juice out of the jar. This is like the perfect gift for her. Keep that stored away in my noggin for her birthday. A pizza hat! Oh, who wouldn't want a pizza hat? Come on. It's kind of sh shaped like a chef hat too. You know, like a like little, little, little pizza, little chef, chef, chef hat. <laughs> oh my goodness. A baby mop. I love that. Why not? There, now your baby has a purpose. <laughs> Rather just being a bottomless pit <laughs> machine, now it can wipe your floor. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I got a bit of a bath thing. You know, like I like me a bath, like pretty much every night I like to take a bath. It's relaxing, it helps with my anxiety. But did you know that you can get roast beef sandwich bath soak so that you can smell like a roast beef sandwich after your bath? Delicious. A new way to enjoy a French dip. Bon appetit. Deliciously weird and just so relaxing. <laughs> I'm like actually kind of curious. Like I kind of want to buy some of these and like test them out for a video. Would you watch that? <laughs> hey guys, Easter's coming up. Want to freak out your cousins? Get them a zombie chocolate bunny. It's very festive. <laughs> so wait, you got the bunny that's kind of eating the other bunny. So you can get one that's like chopping its head off. And then also the bunny, the zombie bunny is like, is like green, like zombies, you know? Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. Very cool. Oh, I totally want to get this cat carrier dress for one of my editors. Kelly, I know that you would love this dress. I love this for you. You want it? Tell me. Tell me if you want it, because I'll get it. This is your bonus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically like you're you're a kangaroo and your baby is your cat. <laughs> Cthulhu hat! Yes! <sighs> oh, I love that. I'm gonna get that for the life's biggest questions crew. I'm so glad I don't have to talk about Cthulhu anymore. Like, bruh! Bruh! I'm sick of Cthulhu, but I love this hat. <laughs> It'd be a really cool Halloween costume. A Nicolas Cage sequin pillowcase where it's red on one side and then if you push the sequins in another direction, Nicolas Cage's face appears. Incredible! Who thinks of this shit? If I had a dog, I would make it wear a wig. <laughs> I would dress it up and it would hate me. I would turn it into Britney Spears. So cute. Is it real human hair? <laughs> earthworm jerky. Cause who doesn't want to eat dried earthworms? Protein, lots of protein. <laughs> I wonder if it's good. I kind of want to see these reviews. Let's see. Unavailable, bull <laughs> That's bull <laughs> I'm angry. 34 ratings. Oh, it's very tiny. There's very, 
yeah, there's not a lot of earthworms in there, so that's kind of a ripoff. Oh, you're supposed to feed them to chickens. Wait, I've had better worms. These are too tough and they try to mask the worms with too much seasoning. A good worm should be a little crunchy and not have much taste at all. <laughs> Sorry, is there like a subculture of people that like eats worms? <laughs> all right, so just FYI for those of you who like eating worms, don't buy this product because so customers are very, very unhappy from what I can tell. A tennis ball with a head strap. Why would you want that? What's, what's the point of that? Just attach it to your head and just hit it and hit yourself in the face. Is that what that's for? Why not? <laughs> I want to see, I, like, is anyone else curious about the ratings? I always read the ratings. I always read the comments and I always read the ratings for any product or any post, usually. 55 ratings. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a workout thing. Like you like attach it to your head and then you, you just kind of, kind of like, you know, like a punching bag, but like it's attached to your head and you just hit the ball. <laughs> and there's punishment if you don't get it right, because then it'll hit you in the face. <laughs> if that's not a way to get you to work out, I don't know what is. I feel like I'm inching further and further downward. Just give me a second. There we go. There we go. Much better. A pound of replica human fat. Why would I want that? Is that, I'm gonna read the comments. Hang on one second. Okay. Human body fat replica provides students and patients with a physical and visual representation of excess body fat. Is it kind of like slime? <laughs> oh, there's lots of other ones. Fat replica. Apparently you can get lots of different types of fat replica on, on Amazon. <laughs> That'd be fun. That's a nice little slime video for you. Just playing with some fat replica. <laughs> a baby gold grill pacifier for babies that are just too gangsta <laughs> for the regular pacifiers. Need it, want it. If I ever have a child, I'll make it wear it. Baby hand candles. <laughs> I would never want to burn these. <laughs> Those are just gonna stay like that. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Kind of looks like there's a baby stuck in the table and those are its hands popping out. <laughs> Gardening claws, yes. Yeah, so you can scoop with the with the nails. Oh yeah. Love it. A turkey hat for the Mr. Bean in your household. I like the expression on the actor's face. <laughs> A bloody bath mat. Why not? Why get a regular bath mat when you can get a bloody bath mat? The wine rack bra. All right, now this is something that I can get behind. It's a sports bra that holds a full bottle of wine in it. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And also makes your breasts bigger. So you can trick unsuspecting men into thinking that you are quite well endowed. A cocktail blood bag. Why consume cocktails out of a cup when you can consume them out of a blood bag? And for the grand finale of this video, you can buy nothing on Amazon. Nothing for the person who has everything. For the low, low price of $7, you can buy nothing. <laughs> Congratulations, you have received the gift of nothing. Absolutely nothing. This is the ultimate in minimalism. Less is more, more is less. Nothing is precious, nothing is simple, nothing is sacred. Open the pack and be enthralled when nothing happens. Allow nothing to flow through your mind and calm your soul. Savor the moment. Soon you'll discover that nothing really is so much better than something. <laughs> the gift of nothing is yours to discover. This is a sign that we live in a materialistic society when someone has to spend $7 to give someone nothing. All right, guys, those are some of the weirdest things that you can buy on Amazon. Tell me about some of the weirdest things you found on Amazon down below in the comments. And did you buy them? Did you not? Should we make an entire video of Charlotte just buying like bacon mustaches? and trying out roast beef bath salts. I kind of like, I'm a little intrigued. We also need to do a Haribo gummy bear video. That's fun, right? It's nice and fun. <laughs>